Hello, my name is Dana Singletary and I'm a member of the Oracle JDeveloper team. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the new Maven integration with JDeveloper 11G. Specifically, I'm going to show importing a Maven application into JDeveloper. I'll then go into creating a JDeveloper 11G application configured for Maven, and then I'll go through some of the additional Maven features provided in JDeveloper. So with that, I'm going to jump over to Oracle JDeveloper and start the demonstration. As you can see, I've already created an application workspace to import my previously created Maven project into. And I simply browse for this project, select it, and then select to import this into the application workspace. This is a simple Hello World application. And now that I've done this, I can actually work with the various uh, Apache Maven settings. And I'll do this now. So as you see here, I can set the output level on this Maven project, also the default goal that I want to run. And there's a number of other things that I can do, such as uh, set dependencies, so additional libraries that are required. Also, I can manage the goals and add additional goals that I can run. Um, I can also work with the various processes, repositories, and then additional Maven settings, of course. Now, what I can do is easily just select to run one of these targets, and I'm just going to run the default one uh, package. And as you can see, it builds this application successfully. And then I could test this out by running my Java class, and I do get the expected results. Alternatively, I can create a new application workspace based on Maven. So I'll give this a simple package, and then, of course, choose to create the uh, POM file for this application. I can also set various packaging uh, attrib attributes at this point as well. Now that I've done this, I can create my, once again, simple Hello World application that I can run and test this application out with, of course. And as before, I can work with the various attributes for the Apache and Maven settings. Um, what I'm going to do now is just simply run this and once again test this out to show you that it does run successfully. Now for some of the advanced features. So let's go and take a look at adding dependencies for a particular project. And what I want to do is add some of the ADF faces dependencies. So I can simply choose to add a library here, browse for the library that I want to add. It is added to this Maven project, can select it, and then we'll take a look at the POM file so that you can see that yes indeed this was added to my POM file. And then what I want to do is show um, Code Insight. So for example, I'm going to add an additional dependency. And as you see here, I do get Code Insight on my POM file. Now another thing that I can do, and I'm going to copy this last dependency right here and go and delete this from the POM file itself, but through the Manage Apache Maven settings. What I want to show is that if I were to add these, these uh, dependencies directly to the POM file, going back into the Apache settings, you'll see that it is synchronized with it and that it, it indicates that I can add it directly through the settings as well. So I'm going to paste this dependency back in that I removed, go back into my Apache Maven settings, we'll take a look at the dependencies and you'll see that I get the indication here that I can add this. So while this is not an all-inclusive demonstration, this does illustrate some of the features of the Maven integration provided by JDeveloper 11G.